So we chose the scanner for multiple reasons. Um, one of them, a big factor, is the 270 degree scanning angle. Um, with our robot system, if we can mount that on the corner, we can get a wide range of protective field to um, solve the application in one, with one scanner typically. Um, another one is the superior optics, um, the angular resolution that it has. Um, it's got a great response time, angular resolution, scanning area, and protective field without sacrificing any of those features. Um, a lot of other manufacturers will choose to focus on uh, one feature and then sacrifice the others, but Loitza um, gives you kind of a full package in that manner. Um, it's easy to configure. Um, you can either hook it up with Ethernet to your laptop and configure it with uh, provided free software, or you can even connect it to Bluetooth if you don't have a cable, which is a really cool way to connect to it. Um, when you connect, the software kind of scans all the available ports to see where it can find a scanner so it's easy to connect to. Um, it's got ProfiSafe, which, so you can use that to communicate to a PLC. Um, if you're not just communicating over ProfiSafe to a PLC, it also has um, hardwired outputs, so it's available with up to two sets of safe outputs if you want to maybe have two protective fields. Um, there's no special cables needed for it, so it's just a typical M12 connector. Um, also, if the device gets damaged, it's two pieces really, two parts that it comes with. So you have the base and then the, the uh, scanner, the optics. So if the optics get damaged, you can quarter turn on the bottom, right here and here. You can just take off the optics, replace those, put it back on without having to reprogram anything. So that makes it very nice. Um, there's several different models, whether it's short, medium, or long range, scanning range. So that makes it um, very flexible. With our application, we chose the uh, 410, which is uh, the uh, more basic model, because that's all we needed. So it's great to be able to scale it to your needs and not have to um, you know, get something that you don't need. So if you ended up needing to go a longer distance or um, you needed to do um, you know, different applications where you had multiple fields involved, mm -hmm. you could easily change that out because they're all basically the same size, right? Right, right. So the bases are basically the same size in the, in the scanner unit. Um, the only time I think it, the difference is the ProfiSafe version, maybe the, the base is a little bit taller. Other than that, same mounting, same size and everything. So, um, so that makes it very easy to upgrade if needed. Okay. Um, I mentioned the damage, it has a two year warranty, which is longer than most of the competitors. So that's very nice. Um, if you know, you're trying out a new product, you're not used to the Loitza maybe yet, you get that two year backing. Um, another thing that I really like about this is the display. So in the scanner area, when it's running, it gives you a display. So if you maybe had a fault, it'll read out a fault code that you can look that up and easily troubleshoot it. Um, it also tells you if you're in a protective field or a warning field, so there's two different fields, you know, a warning, maybe slow down your, um, your robot in this, in this case, and then the protective field would stop it, and we'll demonstrate that for sure. And then there's LEDs on the front also that indicate the state that the scanner is in. So like, it would be green if it's just running and fine, and then um, there's a blue light that comes on when you're in a warning field, and then a red light that comes on when you're in protective field. So it's very easy to see what is going on and very easy to troubleshoot. So as you can see here, we have our collaborative robot running at normal speed. It's just going to three different waypoints. Um, and the scanner is scanning a protective area. So I'm gonna move in a little bit. And now I'm in the protective or the warning field. So that sends a signal to the robot to run slow. So you can see it's running slower, obviously. And I get on my scanner output, um, a, uh, WF output, it says A-WF for warning field, and I see my blue LED, which tells me that I'm in my uh, warning field. If I get closer, then it's, it gives a safety stop to my uh, collaborative robot, and you can see the LEDs, I turn my, uh, I get red and yellow blinking, signifying the I'm in the protective field, and the scanner says A, 
um, PF, so to tell me that I'm in my protective field. So uh, very easy to configure and very easy to um, tell what's going on with your scanner. As I back out, now I'm out of the, prot the protective field, back in, but in the warning field still, as you can see with the LEDs, and then at full production again. So very easy to set up, very easy to use, and troubleshoot.